Good morning, everyone. This is Brandon with Archie Cinema. Do another video review here. Top of the morning here, uh, January 27th, uh, 2024. A little chilly, but, you know, we're going to make it happen anyway. Today, I'm actually going to uh, make a stop here at the uh, Belcourt Theater here. They're playing a, 4 a new 4K scan of Doctors Vago. I've actually never seen this movie before. I know it's an all-time classic. Uh, so it's definitely uh, going to be uh, uh, you know something new for me, something special. I know everybody that's seen it said good reviews about it. I've just never seen it before. So they actually have an introduction and some other things going on along with it. So I'll give you the details when I come back and give a full review, review of it. And uh, so I'm going to head out right now uh, and then I'll come back to you all and kind of explain you know, what I thought about the movie and uh, be looking forward to it. All right. Catch you guys later. See you in a bit. All right, just ride the bell court. <laughs> Parker was kind of janky, so all right. About to head in right now. All right, but check it out. All right, an admission. It's epic so far. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, just getting out the theater from watching Dr. Zavago. Wow, 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 what an epic. Got so much uh, to talk about this. There's so many layers to this, and I'll get back to it when I get home. All right, peace. All right, y'all, I'm back from watching Dr. Zavago at the theater. Also, I want to say that Dr. Zavago is, Bill Corp Theater is having what's called a winter series. A lot of, you know, because of the cold months there, you know, winter themes, movies with snow and just themes of the cold. So this is goes into that series, you know, going well so far. But this is a theme that they have. But uh, going back to uh, Dr. Zhivago. Hey, brilliant movie. This is the first time I've ever seen this movie. Uh, absolutely epic. I see why it's held in such high regards. So I'm going to uh, explain kind of everything that went on during the film, during the uh, showing today. You know, a couple of. Uh, surprises and things and also i'm going to give a brief synopsis of the movie i'm not i'm going to give this the basic plot away i'm not going to really give away any spoilers but if you want to go in with a clean slate definitely check out the movie and come back so i'll just make you aware of that but i won't go too deep into the plot because it it goes actually really deep so dr Zhivago, 1965 epic um a little long it's about three hours and 17 minutes one thing I noticed that this movie was kind of set up like West Side Story. I'm not, I don't own a physical copy of this movie. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but at least in this version, it was like, you know, West Side Story at the beginning. They had the music going before the film started and then they had the intermission. So on this one, it was actually a black screen and with the music playing first. Um, then the movie starts and then they have another, and then they have an intermission with the music, music playing. So I don't know if that's the same way on the Blu-ray or DVD, or I'm not sure, but, uh, if you guys can let me know that, but this is how I saw it today. So, you know, that was pretty cool. Um, director, directed by David Lean. David Lean is a legendary director. He directed Lawrence of Arabia as well as A Bridge on the River Choir. So his, his, you know, resume is thorough. Starring Omar Sharif and Julie Christie. I actually saw this on a 4K restoration and it was brilliantly shot, beautiful cinema cinematography. There's a couple rough spots here and there. I think it's just the wear and tear of the original film. Also, what's good about this is I noticed that when they plan these, they re-release these movies in these 4K restorations while they're playing them, a, you know, random theaters or whatever, or art house theaters. It seems like most of the time that a 4K Blu-ray is coming. So I haven't heard anything about official date of Dr. Zhivago coming out on uh, 4K. So if you all know about that, definitely uh, let me know because I'll definitely be picking this up. Um, also, a score done by Maurice Show. Now, Maurice Show's score was excellent. It really sets the pace of the movie, whether it's an intense scene or reserved scene. His music uh, paces the movie out throughout the whole, you know, throughout the whole uh, movie. It really paces things straight. Also, there was an introduction given by Miss Nancy McGuire. She's the assistant professor of motion pictures at 
Belmont University. So she gave a lot of historical context to the film, talked about you know, where the, where the film was shot. It was shot in Spain. It was shot in Canada. Actually based off a book by Boris Paternak. But that book was actually banned in Russia. And as a result, because of the some of the uh, political dangers there, the movie actually wasn't shot in Russia. So that's why they shot in Canada and Spain, just for everybody's safety, you know, just in case. Also, she spoke about how the first time she saw the movie, she was eight years old and She's fell in love with it since it was always been a lifelong favorite of hers and favorite of hers, excuse me. Also, you know, to go full circle, she said when she was uh, an adult, she actually went to the Ukraine and that's where she adopted her daughter. So that's a beautiful story. So that kind of goes 360 in that in that uh, frame. All right. Now I'm going to give the synopsis of the movie and uh, basically tell the story of Internal Affairs uh, Lieutenant. Uh, Shivago. This is actually Yuri Shivago. His brother is the lieutenant. And the lieutenant uh, sees a young lady there and he thinks this might be Yuri's long lost daughter that she had with Lara. So he starts talking to her and they start conversating and they tell the story in retrospect. So maybe seeing that if, you know, he tells the story in retrospect, maybe something might jog their memory to prove that he, he uh, this young lady is actually Yuri's daughter. So they go through the whole plot. Yuri is actually Yuri Shivago, who the movie is based off of. Again, Yuri is actually his mother dies at a young age. So a particular family takes him in. You know, he has schooling and everything. And he actually is engaged to and later marries uh, the family that takes him in, their daughter by the name of Tanya. So that's the backdrop, backdrop of his story initially. At the meantime, uh, now, the story goes to 1913, and this is actually the backdrop of the entire movie. There's a lot of civil unrest going on in Russia, a lot of um, you know political activism going on, violence in the streets with the, between you know the the you know the the working class people and the government. So a lot of that's really the backdrop of everything else going on in the movie. So it pushes to 1913. Lara is uh, 17 years old, just kind of living life, you know, so to speak. She actually falls for a guy named Victor, who's her mother's friend. And Victor is, you know, politically connected and, you know, well-to-do financially. So she starts dating Victor, but unfortunately the relationship becomes emotionally and physically abusive, like all the time. And it's the clash going on from the beginning. She really stays around longer than she really needs to just because like I said, he's politically connected and has money. So that's a clash on that end. At the same time, there's a guy named Pasha who's a, a political activist that's, you know, trying to go to the political ranks and in the streets with the people, you know, protesting the, un, you know, the injustice going on at the time. So he ends up uh, wanting to marry Lara and, and he, he eventually does. So that clash is already going on between Lara having two people that she's in love with. So that's already initially initial an initial dilemma going on right there. So that starts off kind of her story. Now, later on in the movie, uh, things get so bad, you know, uh, as far as safety wise, that Lara and Pasha end up leaving um, uh, Moscow. It becomes, you know, that dangerous. They actually leave. So later on, um, Pasha and Lara get separated. So nobody knows what Pasha is. As a result, Lara ends up getting a job. Um, she enlists as a nurse on the battlegrounds for the, the, the war going on. At the same time, Yuri has become a doctor for the battlegrounds. So this is how both of them meet Yuri and, and, and Lara. And they almost immediately connect and fall in love. I mean, they... You know, they want to go to the next level, but most, both of them are married. But it's an instant attraction about that. So that that basically is the plot of the movie. Like, you know, they fall in love. But where is it going to go from there with them being married in the violent backdrop of Russia at the time with all these different conflicts and threats of violence going on? So that's basically the plot of the movie. But I don't want to give any more spoilers away. But the rabbit hole runs deep. Trust me. Like like I said, you know, threats of violence, wars going on. You know, people having to leave places, all of that going on um, at one part in, uh, at, at different parts of the movie. You really don't know what to expect 
in this movie. So it's definitely an uh, excellent movie. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, definitely go check it out. Tell me what you all think about this movie. I, like I said, this is the first time I've seen it. I was blown away. Do you all like it? Do you think it's overrated? So just put your comments down about what you feel about this movie. And like I said, also let me know if this is going to be a 4K release that you all heard about. So I wanted to make this like a whole day thing because I've never seen this. So I wanted to make it a whole day thing that was a little bit more eventful. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely comment at the bottom. Take care. Have a nice day.